On Friday, a group of OTML executives traveled by plane and then by boat to sign the last Community Mine Continuation Agreement, or CMCA, with leaders from Sepe Auti. Sepe Auti is one of many isolated villages in the South Fly region. It sits at the end of the CMCA corridor, a corridor that OTML operates and is obliged to deliver needed services to communities affected by mining operations. The signing ceremony witnessed by hundreds marks a new beginning of the Sepe Auti community. It also gives OTML the right to continue its operations and in return compensate the community through viable development. For the villagers, it means more than just a signed agreement. Women representative Tuani Koda says for years they have been missing out on benefits that came with the CMCA agreement. We should not blame, blame OTML for not assisting us under, under the CMCA program because we did not sign, sign the agreement. Therefore, I am now very happy to sign now and this, this will make it possible for me to receive these services, these services in full now. OTML Deputy CEO Muse Wera says the signing signifies the community's desire to be part of the CMCA family and to participate in development opportunities. He says this will now give OTML the right to enter the community and he urges the people to work closely with the company. This agreement is very, very powerful. People of Sepe Auti, this agreement. Once you need this putting mark inside of here, that gives of Teddy OTDF the right, the right to come and talk to you. He added the benefits from the agreement will start now and people mustn't blame OTML for missing out for years. Once you sign this agreement, the benefits that is for Sepe Auti will come to you. The agreement was signed by community representative Fred Awai and witnessed by Duty Trust Women representative Rebecca Make. <laughs> Stanley Ove Jr., National MTV News.